Hello viewers, welcome to my channel, myself Sultan. Today we will walk through how to set up Snapchat view content event on our website. Let's see, this is my website and this is my Snapchat business account and this is Google Tag Manager. I'm going to set up Snapchat view content event on my website through Google Tag Manager. In the beginning, I'm requesting you to subscribe my channel uh, if you haven't done that yet. So let's go how to set up Snapchat view content event on our website. First of all, we have to create some variables because uh, in every event setup uh, for Snapchat pixel, we have to create some variables and that says Snapchat is itself. Let's see, go to uh, tag and go to new, uh, click anywhere, tag configuration and then set up snapchat pixel viewers i have created two videos uh, on how to create snapchat business manager and how to set up snapchat pixel and i will drop down the video link in the description please see this video so viewers if you want to set up snapchat pixel then we need snap pixel id and then user email user has to email user phone number user has phone number user mobile ad id user has mobile ad id price item category item ids currency number of items transaction id description level search string sign up method so viewers we have to create first of all these parameters uh, with our google tag manager then go to google tag manager discard changes to create these variables we have to go to our data layer and uh, to find our data layer we have to go our preview mode from our google tag manager let's go to preview mode here will be your website and then connect since we are going to create these variables for our view content event and view content event is in the term of google ga4 google analytics 4 is view item so let's visit a product now see here click here continue and you will see here a view item view item event has received from uh, from our website click here view item and go to data layer and so many data is received from our website in our ZTM. Now we can create variables using this data layer. So let's go to Google Tag Manager and go to variables section. There are two kinds of variables, built-in variables and user-defined variables. As our parameters are not exist in our built-in variables, so we have to create it from uh, user-defined variables. You have to note that uh, for every event we don't need every parameters for a specific event we need a specific uh, parameters like i have made a documentation like see here we need these parameters that we see a while ago and for our view content event we just need pixel id user email user email hash price item category item ids and the rest of parameter we don't need in the view content event so let's create some variables for those parameters go to your user defined variables and click new and name this parameter pixel id since pixel id is a constant number so we have to select here constant variable select here constant and value will be the pixel id so go to snapchat business account and then go to pixel this is our pixel and this is my pixel id okay copy it and then paste here and then save okay our pixel id is ready then now we have to create user email variable click new name it snapchat user email click variable configuration and from here you have to select data layer variable because we are going to create 
uh, this variable from our data layer. I have enabled data layer in the backend of this website. Uh, so my Google Tag Manager account is receiving so many data from my website. Click here, visitor email, copy it, paste here, and then save. Then click new and name here user email hash click configuration select data layer variable and the name variable name will be visitor email hash copy it and paste here and then save then we have to create a variable for price parameter price and click variable configuration select data layer variable and we have to put here variable name go to google tag manager data layer please note here carefully how i am going to create the name of the variable find here e-commerce here is e-commerce copy it and then go to items copy it and then copy price okay then go to google tag manager now paste here e-commerce and then dot and paste here items and then dot and write here zero and then dot and then paste here price i wrote here zero because the product we are visiting on our website this is the uh, first product and uh, under that we have we are seeing three products so the first product it's in the uh, data layer according to gf4 data layer uh, it's in the zero position and then this is one this is two this is three so uh, since we are taking the data of this product so we have to write here zero then price okay then save click here again new we are going to create a variable for item ids item ids select data layer and then paste here e-commerce then dot then e-commerce then items then dot zero dot and then we need to copy from here item id copy it and paste here item id then save it again click new and name it snapchat item category then variable configuration data layer and then name here e-commerce dot items dot zero dot item category copy it and then paste here item category then save our variables are ready now we have to create a trigger from view content event go to triggers then click here new and then name this trigger snapchat view content trigger okay then click anywhere trigger configuration and then select from here custom event because we are going to create this trigger using our data layer and in this data layer when we visit a product page and a fired view item event then we got an event that that's name is view item so copy it and then paste here view item and then save now we have to create our tags go to tag and then click here new 
and name it view content tag then click here tag configuration anywhere you want and then select snap pixel and then give here your pixel id we have created a variable uh, a while ago and then click plus icon and then find out your pixel id snapchat pixel id okay event type will be event type will be view content and then user email click on plus icon and then find out from here snapchat user email and then user has email user email hash and then user phone number viewers we can put here um, our users phone number here for view content if because any user put a phone number on our website just when he purchase and uh, purchase a product otherwise uh, he doesn't give a phone number give any phone number in our website so we don't we can't use this uh, parameter for our view content event we just yeah, we just can use it for our purchase event and then put here price captured price and then item category item category and then item ids click on plus icon and select item ids and then currency sorry we didn't create uh, currency variables so click here plus icon and then name here snapchat currency okay then click variable configuration select from here data layer variable and then put here name data layer value will be e-commerce dot currency copy it and then paste here e-commerce dot currency okay and then save and then put here number of items this parameter isn't also needed for this event because number of items is will be needed when a user uh, check out or purchase any product from our website in this event that means view content event a user uh, just can visit one a single product at a time so don't need here put um, putting any uh, value here transaction id is also will be needed in our purchase event and then description according to the snapchat pixel documentation uh, for this event view content event uh, the description will be view content track content view events track content view events so right here track content view events and then select here your trigger the trigger that we just created for uh, view content event snapchat view content event and then click save now it's time to check this our tag is properly created or not let's go to preview mode let's visit a product page okay then go to uh, google tag manager and click here continue you can see here our snapchat view content event tag is fired one times that means our tag is created properly and successfully and if we go to our website and click on snapchat pixel helper extension then we can see here uh, it has found out uh, two events on our website one is page view event and the second is view content event so viewers we can say our tag is view content event tag is fired properly and successfully so that's it today viewers if you need any help with google tag manager facebook ads google tag manager google analytics facebook pixel conversion api and server side tracking then must contact me uh, i am always ready to help you i'm a professional freelancer working on uh, fiverr and uh, upwork if you need any service from here uh, just feel free to contact me and if you have any question 
or any suggestion or if you have any doubt about this video please drop down your question suggestion uh, in the uh, comment box i will appreciate your suggestions so that's it today uh, see you another video until then goodbye thank you so much